Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Way to Go. If you're new here, my name is Helen and I'm on a weight loss journey and I'm doing it my way. Everything in moderation, no denying and no restricting. And that's what works for me. In today's video, I'm gonna make a recipe that has only three ingredients. And those are two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and I used Hershey's, one banana, and one egg. It's very simple and it goes in the microwave. Three simple ingredients, and it takes no time at all to put together. This should not be a messy recipe, but just in case, I'm gonna put on an apron. My daughter, Laura, she made this apron when, when she was in school many years ago. And it's so sweet. I just love it. She knows how much I love the kitties. It's just, it's so beautiful. With a heart. I love it so much. So, thank you, Laura. And I'm going to make a little adjustment just so that you can see what I'm doing a little better. So I have a small little bowl, one egg, a banana, and included were these little bags of cocoa powder. And I'm not exactly sure how much is in each package, but I'm guessing a maybe a tablespoon or two tablespoons. I'll open up one and find out. The cute little whisk. And these were all washed. The little container. I have a one tablespoon and a fork to mash my banana with. And the little jar of Nutella. Like I said, it's so sweet. I'm gonna open this up. I haven't had it open yet. I'll just stick my fork in there and do that. It smells really good, really chocolatey. Yeah, this could be good. Okay, first thing it says to do is to mash the banana. Pull these little strings off because I do not like them. Whoops. There we go. And then I'm just going to give this a quick little mash. Now I'm just going to mash this until all the big lumps are gone. I think we're good. Next, I'm going to put in an egg. There's a little piece of shell there. The best way to get a piece of shell out is to use the actual shell. And just make sure I got it all. Yes, I did. So, Using the sweet little whisk that I got from with the gift, I'm just gonna whisk it together. This is so cute. This was attached to it and I'm just gonna leave it there because it's it's special. I just love it. I love little touches like that. Let's 
think eventually I'm going to get this laminated just so I could keep it. I'll definitely be making this again. So I'll take one of these bags of cocoa. It's Hershey's cocoa. And I'm just going to open it and see how much is actually in it. If I can open it. She has it tied really well, which is which is really good. I'm just going to work on this. Alrighty, I have it off. And I'm just checking for lumps and there's no lumps in the cocoa. It smells really good. I have a tablespoon here and I'm just going to pour in and see how much is in here. And the recipe calls for two tablespoons of cocoa powder. One. Oh yeah, that's, she measured it. What a sweetheart. Thank you, Jessica. Make sure I get all this lovely chocolate goodness. And I'm just gonna mix this up now. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. I'm just gonna work on this for a little bit. I hope I'm doing this right. I've never made a mug cake before. It's hard to get all of the little lumps out of it, so I'm hoping this is good. Just gonna adjust this here just a little bit better. How's that? And next it just says mix well, microwave for 90 seconds and add your favorite toppings and enjoy. That's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, I have my little dish here. This is really, really cute. Very sweet. And I may need a large spoon. Just to scrape every ounce of this goodness into the, into the bowl. Oh yeah, it's looking mighty good, smelling mighty good too. You can really smell the bananas. I meant to make this a long time ago, but I just did not have bananas. Or if we had any, we ate them right up. So, It's ready to go into the microwave for 90 seconds. Here it goes. Does anybody else worry about putting glass dishes into a microwave? Or is that just me? I'm just a little curious about uh, how it's going to turn out. Fifty five seconds left. I don't smell it yet. I did not say to spray the container, so I did not do that. So it's just two tablespoons of cocoa powder, one egg and one banana that's smashed. And I still have two more packages for another day. Oh, I'm smelling it now. 
It smells really good. It's getting higher too. It didn't say to let it sit there for a few minutes or anything. Oh, it startled me. <laughs> I startled easy, I guess. You know what would be a really smart idea? Oven mitts. One sec. And I have a coaster. Here we go, guys. I'm not sure if it's even done. It still looks a little bit soft and indented in the center. A little bit more wet. I'm going to set this down and I'm going to test it. I have this really handy cupcake tester. So, if you can see it, I'm not sure. I'm just going to test it with this. Right down the center. No, I think it needs more time. Really, folks? So I'm going to put this back in. I'm going to try it for 30 more seconds. Three, two, one. Just wiped it off and I'm going to try this again. It's a learning experience. It looks done on the outside. Parts of it are pulling away from the pan, but it still looks a little bit wet. But you can see where it's, it's pulling away right there. I'm going to do the, the finger test where I just push down on it and see if it springs back or not. Absolutely. It's done on the outside. The very center is what I am worried about. And it's still, it's coming out not quite clean. Maybe it'll continue to cook on the inside. I'm not sure, but there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of wetness as you can see that on the very top of it I don't know I'm gonna try it for 30 more seconds here we go and yes it's mighty hot right in the center 30 seconds. Welcome to Helen's Test Kitchen. I really hope this turns out good. If anything, I can eat around the edges. And Fred is not here right now and I'm just wondering, should I wait for him to come home and we can do a taste test together? He's off at his mom's mowing her lawn for her. 30 seconds. I'm gonna just take a peek seat first. I'm too short. I'm too short, I have to pull it out to look. more seconds. Maybe it's my microwave. Maybe uh, it's a different time. I'm not sure. This is real life, right? This isn't, I'm not Gordon Ramsay. 
I'm not Jamie Oliver. I'm Helen Fortune. And this is real life. Here we go. Okay, let's try this. It looks better than it did. I'll hold it up so you can see. It's still a little bit wet in the centers. You can see that, but it's pulled away from the edges. So I'm going to test this one more time. Right in the center. I think it's done. I'm just gonna leave it and just let it, maybe it's continuing to cook. Like on one side, it's pulled away from the edge quite a bit. So it smells really good. There should be a, such a thing as smell-o-vision. Mm, smell smells so good. And as far as I know, you, like I've never had one of these before, I think you eat it right out of the dish. Once it cools, I'm going to spoon some of this Nutella on it. Maybe a chocolate chip. Maybe a sprinkle. We'll see. And I'll bring you back once this is cooled. I'm back. So let's check our cake. It's cool enough to touch now. It smells really good. See how it come away from the sides? That's a good indication that it's done, as well as lightly pressing it, and I think it finished cooking all the way through. But I'm just gonna double check that, just to be sure. So I'm gonna take my cupcake tester and I'm gonna test the cake. Right down the center, because it's the thickest part. I don't know if you could see that. It's done all the way through. Awesome. It's just barely, barely warm now. I'm really excited to try this. I'm gonna take some of the Nutella. It's so creamy, it smells so good. And I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. This jar is so cute, I just love it. I love miniatures of anything. I just love it. And I'm just gonna put some on the cake. I'm gonna aim it so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna spread a little bit on here. Move things so you can maybe see a little bit better. It's a little bit difficult to spread because it's in a tiny little container. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on there. I am very excited. This was a great gift. I just want to save some more in case I make it again, which I definitely will. So I'll just set this here. I think that's plenty. I just wipe the sides. Clean off my knife. There we go. There's the cake. 
chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. So why not? Just a few. Oh yes. Very lovely. And just for a little color for decoration purposes, I'm going to add a few colors as well. Nothing too crazy. There you go. Isn't that nice? And that's a really nice size. Look at the that's a big size. I think I'll share with with Fred. That would be a nice thing to do, wouldn't it? Perfect. The cake is done. It just took three ingredients, two tablespoons of cocoa, one banana and one egg mixed all up and then put in the microwave. It did say 90 seconds, but I, as you've seen, I ended up putting it in there for a little bit longer. And I can't wait to try this tonight. Thank you very much, Jessica. It was a wonderful Mother's Day gift that I'm sorry it took so long for me to make. Fred and I, I think we're gonna enjoy this very much. He'll probably not eat half of it. So, because he is watching what he eats as well. But I definitely will. Now we are back and we're gonna have a taste test. Now I'm back with Fred and Fred is home and now we're gonna have a taste test of the cake that I made. Now that supper's over. Yep. <clears throat> Looks really good there. That's good. Yep. So take a spoon. Oh. And, yeah. We're going to try it. Real life reactions. So <gasps> just wait. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's all Bang. right. It's like chocolate banana. Tastes like chocolate banana. With frosting. With frosting. Yeah. Really good there. Like it? Yep. Really tastes like bananas. I really taste it. Yeah. Really good. More. That's what the inside looks like. It's very moist. It's very dense. So is that considered good for you? Better for me. Better. Okay. It's a a better alternative. Okay. That sounds good. There's um, one banana in it, one egg, and two tablespoons of cocoa. And I put a about a teaspoon or half a tablespoon maybe of Nutella on top. Mm -hmm. And a few little sprinkles, chocolate okay. and colored. Nice. I like chocolate ones the best. Me too. <clears throat> So would you eat this again? Yep, for sure. Yep. It's a winner. <laughs> Hope so. Okay. Thank you very much. We're cleaning that off pretty good. Yep. So, two thumbs up. Yep. <laughs> really good. Yeah, I like it. That's good. And. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for coming along with me and watching me as I make this delicious Hershey cake with Nutella frosting. And you can easily make this in a mug if you do not have a dish like this. And until next time, my friends, remember, take care of you.